What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So today we're going to take a look at President Biden's budget. So he put together a budget for 2025. So we're going to take a look at it, and we're specifically going to look at Social Security. What does he say about Social Security? Now, a few videos back, I did kind of hint to what he was talking about when it comes to Social Security and Social Security reform. So that's what we're going to focus on in this video. But first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification, clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC Show Live. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about his budget, but I want to kind of give you a little bit more information before we get into this. Now, understand this is for 2025. So what he talks about when he talks about Social Security, he is talking mainly about the budget for 2025. He's not focused really on reform for Social Security. Now, I have an issue with this, and, I, and I've told you guys in the past, when it comes to President Biden, he needs to let us know what plan he supports. Because that would go a long way when it comes to pushing something forward. And so he's just saying very vague things when it comes to Social Security reform. But he does talk a little bit more about Social Security, the budget for Social Security. So that's what we're really going to be focusing on in this video. But I wish, I wish he would let us know what proposal he supports. If it's the Social Security 2100 Act, let us know. I support the Social Security 2100 Act. Or if it's Bernie Sanders' plan, the $200 raise for Social Security, let us know that. We need to know that. And right now, you have senators like Senator Thune attacking, and Senator Cassidy as well, attacking President Biden and saying, look, he doesn't have a plan for Social Security. He doesn't have a plan to move forward with Social Security. So we're going to see a cut in nine years of about 23% because he doesn't have a plan. And so that's why it's imperative that the president let us know what he wants to do with Social Security because he could be the president that signs off on Social Security reform because we only have three more presidential cycles before something has to be done. And if you really want to look at it, it's almost, it's like two cycles because you know how Congress works. They'll wait until the last minute, but they have to get it done in nine years. And so if we're looking at two presidential cycles, technically that would be eight years. And so he could be the president that actually signs off on Social Security reform. Okay, let's go ahead. I want to take a look at the budget and we're specifically looking at Social Security. Okay. And you notice at the top there, it says Social Security Administration, because most of what he is talking about is for the budget for 2025. They will vote on the budget for 2025. Hopefully, they'll vote by September 30th of this year, and that will be the budget for 2025. So uh, one thing I want to focus on is the amount. And this is very important because this is what the president is asking for. Now, when I say what the president is asking for, this is a wish list. Congress actually has to they have to put pen to paper. They have to pass it in the House and pass it in the Senate in order for it to get to the president's desk so he can sign off on it. So this is merely a wish list. He doesn't have legislative power, okay? But he wants to let Congress know, look, this is what I support, okay? So the budget request is $15.4 billion, okay? That is for the Social Security Administration, and that's operating costs. So they'll have money for... A customer service and all the different issues that they're dealing with right now, they'll have a little bit more money to hire more employees and things like that. The backlog that we're seeing with SSDI, that's what this money is for. This is $1.3 billion more than the year prior, or we'll say 2023, because that's what they're uh, basing this on. Okay, so now that we know how much he wants for the Social Security Administration as far as the budget, I want to just read this top line here, okay? So this is this is what the president wants to do when it comes to the administration as well as he kind of talks a little bit about reform in here, okay? Because he says, the administration is committed to protecting and strengthening Social Security and opposes any attempt to cut Social Security benefits as well as proposals to privatize Social Security. Okay, so this is a talking point. You hear him say this all the time that he is not going to cut Social Security, that he wants to protect it, that he wants to strengthen it. And the strengthen part is interesting because if you're talking about strengthening it, 
that means that you need to bring in more revenue, make the trust fund solid so it doesn't it doesn't deplete in in nine years. And I wanted to see in this this portion here an expansion. Him talk about an expansion for Social Security. He doesn't really talk about that here. And then he goes on to say the administration believes that protecting Social Security should start with asking the highest income Americans to pay their fair share. Okay, so he says that, but guess what? That's it. He doesn't say anything else about reforming Social Security. So when he's talking about the, the, the high income earners, he is focused on people making 400000 or more. So he kind of gives us a little bit, but he doesn't tell us about what kind of proposal are you backing? Because the Social Security 2100 Act, guess what? People making 400000 or more, they would have to pay a little bit more. So you're raising the cap on them. And because he's not being specific, he could also be talking about Bernie Sanders' plan, the $200 raise for Social Security. The only difference between raising that cap is that cap would start at 250000 or more. Now, President Biden did make that pledge that he is not going to raise taxes on people making uh, 400000 or less. And so because of that, it's probably not Bernie Sanders' plan. It's probably Representative Larson's plan. But we just want to know. We just want to know what proposal you support. And so that's all he talks about. The rest of this stuff is all focused on customer service. It's talking about the backlog when it comes to SSDI. They're also talking about medical leave and, and paid family leave. So that's all he talks about. Okay. He doesn't talk about any other reforms. He's not specific about anything when it comes to social security reform. Now, to be fair, like I stated, this is for 2025's budget. So that's why most likely why he didn't put it in there, but it would have been nice to go just a little bit further when you're talking about the highest, you know, the, the highest uh, earners, highest income earners to let us know a little bit more. Okay. Highest income earners. Is that for people making 400,000 or more? And how would that impact people receiving social security benefits? Would they receive an increase as a result of this? Would this extend the solvency in the trust fund? He doesn't talk about that. And that's what I wish he would talk about. Uh, so we're going to have to see in the future where he goes with, with reform. But I think this is the perfect opportunity for him to say something because he's now being attacked by Republicans. And guess what Republicans are saying? They're saying that President Biden wants to cut Social Security. And so you have President Biden saying Republicans want to cut Social Security. And then you have Republicans saying President Biden wants to cut Social Security. And here's why. He doesn't have a plan. And if he doesn't have a plan in nine years, the trust fund will run out of money, and then that will be the 23% cut. That's what they're talking about. Now, when President Biden is talking about Republicans wanting to cut Social Security, he's talking about raising the full retirement age because for every year that you raise a full retirement age, that's about a 7% cut. So he's talking about that. And then also you have some lawmakers, some, some Republican lawmakers that want to tinker with Social Security. They want to get in there and maybe privatize a portion of, of the benefits, things like that. And so that would be a cut to Social Security, ultimately, because if you're privatizing it, you're taking money out of the payroll contribution. If you're taking money out of the payroll contribution, that means you need to draw more on the trust fund. That trust fund will deplete that much sooner. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in the, in the coming months. Because this is an election year, you're going to continue to hear Social Security mentioned, because Social Security is one of those issues that both sides they want to say, look, we support Social Security. We want to do this. We want to do that because they know seniors will get out to vote. And that's one of the main reasons why Social Security is always talked about during election season. But what we need to do as constituents is to hold these lawmakers accountable so they can talk all the game they want when it comes to Social Security and Social Security reform. But we need to see action. And if we don't see action, we need to vote for some of these other lawmakers that might want to move forward with Social Security reform. So I want to know what you guys think about this. So let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one.